Where are we? Whoa, look at this place. Swanky. Iceberg spies with his little eyes. Something that breathes fire. <sighs> I'm sorry, your insurance doesn't cover fire breathing. Oh man, someone's so rich they own a dragon. I think this place is all dragons. A neighborhood of rich dragons? What will they think of next? Could you even imagine living in one of these places? I oh, don't know. Let me try. <laughs> nope. Can't do it. You don't gotta imagine. We can make that dream into a reality. Squatter. Water Water? A little birdie told me you guys were looking to move into one of these thick cribs. Have to get a real job, then I'm just too lazy. Griz, Griz, Griz. You never learn. Yeah, I'm also a bad student. No. Look. Those lovebirds over there are leaving an empty nest behind. We can just chill there until they return. That sounds kind of like stealing. Icebreeze never stolen anything, except maybe some hearts. Teach me our ways. Yeah, breaking or entering, fine. But both? So I guess we'll just lay here motionless until somebody decides to give us a home. Great I idea! Genius! Chris, don't think of this as squatting. We're house-sitting. Keep the place tidy, water the plant, test the hot tub. That sounds honorable, but I don't know if my bros will get the distinction. Just tell them that no one actually lives there. But that's not really the truth. Seems kind of... Sus. No, no, no. This is manifesting your own reality. If you say it enough, it becomes true. Whoa! If it's coming from you, they'll believe it. And remember, it only works if you commit to the story. Bros! I found the perfect crash pad! It's totally abandoned, so we don't have to feel guilty about anything! <laughs> Isn't this the same house where those honeymooners live? No, no, no. You're thinking of that house. Uh... Commit to the story. Yep, that's where those dragons live. I guess if you say so. Twice. You. Leave someone would abandon this beautifully furnished home. No sign of d dragons here. <laughs> Ice bear found cake. If it's abandoned, why is there so much stuff here? Iceberg is wondering that too. Uh, you see, the house used to be, uh, the set for a TV show. Wow, which TV show? Fantastic Francis, uh, outlaw piano teacher. If Francis taught piano, why is there no piano in the house? Oh, because he taught piano in a secret piano fortress. That makes sense. Makes sense to Ice Bear. <laughs> 